And what was your experience like here at Ryerson? It was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. Um, Ryerson. I mean, uh, I heard racist jokes for the first time uh, that I was shocked. You know. Right. Right. And the Kaiser would tell me these things. And I'm saying, I'm a black man. I'm with a thick accent. They'd ask me things like, "So, where are you from, Saint Vincent? So you live in a thatch hut, hmm. a grass hut." So how do you get from one island to the other? You walk across a bridge, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> stuff like that, you really? know. So I'm, yeah. so I'm thinking, well, this is a British country. I mean, yeah, you'd think a people knew more about stuff than anyway. You find out later on that uh, there aren't too many people know as much as you do, mm -hmm. you know, because we, we 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 educate ourselves and we read. I used to read. I used I, I knew James Bond stuff. I had. Mm -hmm. Read all all the stuff that was extant when I came to Canada in 1964. So right. Goldfinger wasn't new to me. You right. Know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, Ryerson was was good in that it set me up for my future in Canada. I began to understand that I went to keep my mouth shut and went to listen and mm -hmm. to you know. And the theater that was done here was. Uh um, what was the what was the quality of it? What were some of the things you remember about performing here in that show? In that show, uh, it was big. It had to be a big cast. Tea House mm -hmm. of the August Moon, of course. Uh, and the choose a piece that I could do because of my accent, mm -hmm. okay, strange sounding, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and there was uh, chickens in it and a dog. <laughs> I learned yeah. to how to deal with animals on stage. Yeah. <laughs> they had animals on stage. In that yeah, show. yeah, really? yeah. Okay. Well, on the jeep, traveling, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, it was fun. But it, my time here, I enjoyed. I played soccer, like I said. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I was everything but goal. I was like the right. star of the Ryerson Rams. Ryerson Rams, <laughs> right. And the Ryerson Rams did well that year? Reasonably well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Good. Yeah. So, okay, so you get in the National Theatre School, and what was it like well, moving from here to Montreal? Moving from here to Montreal? Well, mm, Montreal was cold. Mm -hmm. Very cold. I remember the first time being frostbitten on my way to school, uh, standing on, on St. Lawrence waiting in this constant wind. We mm. got to school in the morning, and I mm, can't think this air is burning me, you know, this air is just burning. It's a, Somebody looked at me and said, your air is red, what's that? I told him, he said, you've got frostbite. Mm. From then, years after that, the air would hurt every time it dropped below mm -hmm. freezing temperature. So right. Uh, but theater school was another, another good experience. Mm -hmm. I met a lot of people. Who were some of your teachers friends. there? Uh, Duncan Ross. Okay. He was uh, the head of school when I applied and got in. He was a great teacher. Mm -hmm. Great guy, uh, Jeff Henry, uh, Louis Bridge, a lot. But one of the people who did an exercise, there are two people of note that did exercise with us. One was Jacques Lecoq. Right. He came uh, to actually to Stratford. We used to do the summer session at Stratford at that time. Uh -oh. So we had four weeks with him. You know. Right. Other people came. Heath Lambert did a fantastic. Thing wow. once. Uh, what was Heath Lambert like? Oh, he was nutty and nice, and but he's all he was. <laughs> he was very. Uh, he he really didn't believe if you paid him a compliment, you know. From really? what I remember, yes, you you had to be assure him that you were real. But he was a <laughs> tremendous guy, tremendous huh. actor, and um, the other person was um, McCowan, Michael McCow Michael McCowan. He uh, he had directed on the West End in England and mm -hmm. Schofield and people like that. He was head of Rada or something. Okay. There's a book a book on voice and speech by one of the foremost authorities in that now uh, where he he did the foreword on it. Oh, okay. But he Shakespeare. He was uh, once in an exercise <laughs> preparing for this end of year thing. Mm -hmm. I did something. He said, but Arden, where did you get that? Where did you come? So I, I told him, just read what uh, I was given. It led to that. And mm -hmm. so he said, you know, that's the great thing about Shakespeare. I was 
thought I knew this play, everything about it. I've done it so many times. It's a great actor and so on. But I never saw that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Arden. He was such a you know, gentleman. He was a very mm -hmm. nice man. I remember one of the things I learned from him, too, was in those days, the pubs were still going in Montreal. Right. pub was a pub, a man's right. place. So mm -hmm. the meals were cheap and the beer was cheap. Yes. So we'd go to the pub next door. After lunch, before rehearsal, he'd start combing his hair. Comb his hair, you know. <laughs> then his hair, his head and his face and everything would become red. He'd be ruddy, you know. Mm. And then, so one day I asked him <coughs> why he combed his hair like that before rehearsals. He said, well, you see, Arden, after having a good lunch and a drink or two, you tend to get sleepy, you know, and drowsy. So <laughs> by doing that, I get the blood rushing to my head and it wakes me up. <laughs> I do that before I go on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and it works. I my, yeah, I brush my hair and comb my hair. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that now. Maybe you don't need anything like oh, that. I just had a big lunch. <laughs> <laughs> But that's that's interesting. Now, what was Lecoq like? What was he? What was working with him like? His, uh, he spoke French. Mm -hmm. But when he spoke, he o he tasted the words, right? So when he spoke them, it was like you were also tasting what he's tasting. Right. So okay. even though you didn't speak French or had a smattering of, of some of it, you understood what he was doing and his mm -hmm. demonstration and everything, mm -hmm. uh, which was which is the essence of mine. You know? Right, right. And it wasn't funny, it wasn't ha-ha demonstrating. It's you, the, the, which when you in, incorporate that into your acting, mm -hmm. it's your being, your center, and, and he taught about being a neutral man in that you throw off all that other stuff and go directly to the point. And you could do all the other stuff after with the masks and everything like that, but you get the essence of the character, the essence. And theater is about the mm -hmm. essence, you know. It's mm -hmm. almost like poetry that you yeah. 